You're listening to the Hockey Podcast Network. New shows every day. Find us at thehockeypodcastnetwork.com or wherever you get your podcasts from. Didn't you have a couple prospects? We were just just going to take a quick peek at. Yeah, because this and that's a great transition. Because I'm going to break this down into our little fun size episode too. Uh, Mike, the Kingston Frontenacs. You know who uh, their number five leading scorer is on the team? You two uh, you get to cheat. I only had to look at the sheet for a second to know it was Shane Wright. That's right. But why aren't we taking a look at Lucas Edmonds? Because we already have take- Lucas Raymond. You know, oh, funny enough, Mike, uh, also had some time in yeah. Fro- with Rolanda, uh, with the under-16 club. Oh. But Lucas Edmonds, uh, born in Ontario, Canada, he's still Swedish. Uh, he's 20 years old right now. Has been eligible to be drafted, Mike, since 2020. Hasn't been picked up yet. Hmm. Uh, kind of scary there. But clearly, this is like his breakout season. Um, Matt, oh, do you shoot, think you that if we... You if we drafted him right now, but let me, if, let me just remind everybody 58 points so far in, in 32 games, but yeah, go ahead. For, yeah. Uh, would we have more trouble saying Lucas Raymond passes to Lucas Edmonds or trying to say Nicholas Lidstrom and Gustav Lindstrom? Um, I think it's hilarious for all the people that were scolded for so many years for saying Lindstrom when it was Lidstrom. And now, all of a sudden, they're calling Gustav Lidstrom. See? And I was right the whole him. time. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> um, <laughs> so, here's here's what's happened with Lucas. Um, he's made his way on over to um, the Kingston Front next, I think, to get more notice. Because clearly, it's not like he's changed as a person. And when you look at his some of his play in the J20 Super Elite, He's turning in performances with his 51 points in 44 games. That's similar to uh, our very own draft E, like Liam Dower uh, Nilsson and uh, Niederbach. So over a point per game performance, but wasn't enough to be drafted in 2020 or 2021. He's still eligible in 2022. And now that he's leaving Shane Wright's team, Mike, I think we have... Well, while we're trying to like decide, are we keeping Zadina? Are we trading him for somebody else's prospect? You know, are we going to do a um, change of scenery with a couple of like, prospects moving to different areas? Uh, yeah. You know, how, how how much do we need a, a winger to kind of replace that spot? And we see a guy that's that's performing pretty well. Um, I, I, I mean, this is clearly someone that they're counting on with 19 goals and 39 assists. So he's he's in that playmaker realm where he's creating himself and also putting him in the back of the net himself as well. Got time, like I said, with Frolunda, Swedish. Mike, he's uh, ranked 74th on Craig Button's rankings, uh, 107th on the NHL Central Scouting. This is clearly with the Red Wings, if I, uh, if I may. Somebody could probably throw in the chat quicker than my... Rain will remember, or Cat Friendly will even pull this up. Uh, but what I wanted to pull up for everybody was, if we go by Craig Button's rankings, uh, we should have three picks within range with uh, our one first-round pick, which I obviously we shouldn't pick in there, and uh, the two second-round picks. We'll have two picks, or three picks within range uh, where you could pick him up. And uh, if you want to throw in the third-rounder, if he makes it that far... I think absolutely you could take a look at him uh, because he's performing quite well and he's on the team that Shane Wright's on and he's so far looking better. Uh, Mike, this is a long episode, but we still had one more prospect we wanted to go over. He should look familiar. Max Nemestikov, brother. Vladdy. Oh. Um, Mike, he's uh, eligible for the 2022 draft. Not ranked quite as high, but um, <laughs> ranked 2- 219. Uh, by the NHL Central Scouting. Um, birthplace, Mike? Royal Oak, Michigan. Hey! Uh, he's Matt, you actually lived now. there, and I lived right next door. That's right. Five foot eight, 174 pounds. Play center. Uh, so if it worked out... 
<laughs> He's got 18 points in 31 games uh, for the OHL's Sarnia Sting. So uh, at this point, not uh, not a big game changer for the Sting. Uh, but, you know, you take a look back at those under 15 <laughs> leagues for Honey Baked. That's right, 128 points in 59 games. Woo! Now, uh, uh, I think we do need to do just a little extra digging to find out if they are indeed sponsored by the Honey Baked Ham Company. Uh, I believe they are. Uh, we need to get some jerseys stat because I want a honey baked ham hockey jersey, man. <laughs> yeah, I think this has to be down. The, this is the same lane as like, uh, right, like the Little Caesars teams. Um, so a couple of guys I think that you could easily see popping up on draft day. Not necessarily am I saying these are your game changers, but I, I do like the idea because this was pointed out on Twitter that this that this would actually happen. A Max Nemestikov who's graded to be a seventh round draft pick getting picked up by the wing dings. Um, I mean, there's a reason that Vladdy came to the team and it's not just this conversation of, you know, his abilities. We call him the utility man. He's a Renaissance man, if I may, because he does all things pretty good. Um, but there's also the family aspect of everything. And Max has that same relationship. So, Mike, the team that drafted Keegan Draper, will they draft Max Nemistikov in the sixth or seventh round? I say oh, yes. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and to back up, what is, uh, oh, not the sixth round, because we don't have a sixth rounder. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've got that seventh rounder. Oh, boy. We got, we got room for you, Max. You're coming on down. So two names to look out for. That's, our, that's my fun size episode right there. Um, so yeah, at least, uh, as, as this, uh, season progresses and we have less and less to talk about in regards to, uh, the wings, you know, sneaking in a playoff run, um, <laughs> which ain't going to happen. Uh, we got to start talking about draft prospects sometime. So here it is. Um, all right. So no, I was just going to say, periods, uh, Mike. yeah, the last, uh, point here. I found the Detroit honeybaked hockey.com, uh, not seeing any swag, which I'm pretty bummed about. However, Honey Baked Ham does want you to know that they've featured over 100 NCAA and NHL alumni, including seven Olympians, Matt, Megan Keller for USA, Cam Fowler with the Ducks, Bobby Ryan, former Detroit Red Wing, Matt, Jim Slater, and of course, the coup de grace himself, Patrick Kane. Oh, boy. Former Honey Baked Hockey Club alumni. 